we are looking at menstruation and uh, as you can see this is the study of geometrical shapes in this we find area and perimeter for two dimension shapes and also uh, we find volume and surface area for three dimension shapes now first let's look at two dimension shapes what are two dimension shapes these are the shapes without thickness so normally we say two dimension shapes are plain shapes plain so they don't have any any thickness so we have shapes which are categorized according to their number of sides and um, according to the curve or circles that is when we are talking about two dimension shapes now here are some of the names of the shapes which are categorized according to the number of sides first we have triangle and according to our knowledge a triangle has three sides we have a quadrilateral and a quadrilateral is all those shapes which have four sides then we have a pentagon which has five sides we also have hexagon with six sides heptagon seven sides octagon with eight sides nonagon with nine sides decagon with 10 sides so among other sides those are examples of whom shapes which are categorized basing on the number of sides now let's look at how do we find area and perimeter of triangle because we said triangle is the first the first shape we have different kinds of triangles uh, without forgetting uh, we have also types of triangles we have types of uh, types of triangles now first we all know it is known as equilateral equilateral triangle it has all sides equal the second type is isosceles and we know isosceles normally it has two sides equal and finally we have what we call the scalene the scalene triangle is that triangle which has all the three sides with different different length however we also have what we call right angle triangles under isosceles we also have a right angle triangle a right angle triangle this is a triangle whereby one of the angles has 90 degrees and normally 90 degrees is symbolized with that small square at the corner that represents 90 degrees also a scalene triangle has right angle triangle as another way so we have only three types of triangles but a right angle triangle is uh, a triangle with a right angle or 90 degrees as one of the corners it can be isosceles or it can be a uh, scalene now if you have a triangle how do we find area of a triangle the first method we use is called a half times the base times the height now what is the base the base is normally down here and the height is up there by law the base and the height must meet to form a right angle if it doesn't meet to form a right angle then there is no base and height if you look at the second shape also this should be a right angle so that 
we call this height and down we call it we call it base same to this one if we look at the base it's a little bit small here but if you prolong the base so that it can meet the top most of the triangle and end up with a 90, then we can imagine our height. Remember, broken lines are imaginary lines. So any shape which has base and height, then we can use the formula half times base times height find area. However, there are some shapes where you are given only the angle, and you are given two sides, let's say side A and side B. This one, we can use the second method, which is a half times side A times side B times the sign of the angle between the two sides. So these are the two main formulas we use to find the area of, of a triangle. However, we have to remember that perimeter is the total distance around any given shape. Perimeter is the total distance around any given shape. Therefore, we will not have a specific formula for perimeter. Instead, we have to add all sides around the given shape. So if we have a triangle, then we shall add side one plus side two plus side, side three. So a triangle has three sides, which we have to add. And as we know, perimeter is the distance around a given, a given shape, around. So if I have my shape, let's say here, um, Given my height, let's say six centimeter example, and the base maybe it's eight. Um, if I want to find perimeter, then first I need to find this side and I need to know this side because perimeter of this shape should be eight plus the value of this X plus the value of the other X. I cannot add six because six is inside the shape. And perimeter, I have to add only around a triangle. So this is how we find area and perimeter of a triangle. Thank you mm -hmm. for watching.